Okay. Oh, so see? nobody heard that I said 15? <laughs> there we go. See, it's 15, guys, if anyone wants to know what his shoe He's size talk, is. Yes, make, make that very clear. He's talking about a shoe size. size. Exactly, exactly. And those two, if you want to join Chaz and Alima. And Just call us at 408-912-5565. And you know that's my lucky number. I know that's your lucky number. I have a question for Roger now. Sure. Well, I'm getting jealous. Why? Because you're not asking me very many questions. You're not the you're, you're not the guest of honor here today. You are my co-host. However, I am honored to be here. Thank you, and so am I. But our guest is Roger. Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead, Raj. <laughs> Go ahead, so, Alima. Well, you. It's been a while since we have seen you on any of the TV shows or any movies. Is it because you're busy with Unshackled or? Uh, no, actually, uh, you know, I don't know if you uh, you know keep up uh, with. Uh, you know, because with the spate of so many shows happening, I, I was actually recently on Castle. Oh, okay. Uh, Castle was the most recent uh, on the on the fourth season, uh, the season premiere episode. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I, I actually have. Uh, you're right. I do have several projects that I'm developing and producing as well, um, and I'm you know writing some of those, uh, collaborating with other uh, writers, and uh, so that that does keep me busy. But uh, I do uh, you know still like to. Uh, work with you know independent filmmakers and mm -hmm. uh, with uh, mainstream you know TV uh, shows and uh, even mainstream films you know I, I've most recently I think uh, <coughs> if you I don't know if you saw but I was on Happy Feet 2 I was the Indian penguin so, oh were you so that I, was only well, Thanksgiving I heard, about so. it. I heard it yeah okay yeah so that when was, I was just doing the background research ah got it got it yeah so yeah well, what my background a, research wasn't sufficient no no it was but I kind of just wanted to see how he sounded as an Indian penguin you know an Indian penguin, penguin what are you feet? talking about in happy feet <laughs> what are you talking about my. Chaz my daughter there we really go, liked Indian that penguin. show. There we go. See. <laughs> be, be careful. Check man. out my yeah. beak. Do you like my beak, huh? <laughs> you know, you could do my that. Flippers. You want me to flip you with my flipper? That's the matter for you, man. You, you're talking to a Mexican penguin here. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking on Robin Williams, mind oh, you. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Check it out, it's fake. <laughs> Switchblade, recognize and respect it all over the world. I know, I know. Well, those, so it looks like we're having way too much fun here on this show today. So if you guys want to join in, 408-912-5565. You are in conversation with Roger Narayan with Chaz and Alima on Two's Company. So chime in and we will take all your calls. Um, Roger, moving on, like... So what would you prefer, Bollywood or Hollywood? You know, I actually love both. I uh, grew up in India as a, you know, in fact, I was a child actor in, in Bollywood in India. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with all of those films and uh, that world. And uh, it just so happened that, you know, I got back, you know, into seriously, uh, you know, as an adult, uh, back into acting when I was an adult in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So it just so happened that it was more convenient to work in Hollywood because I was already here. But uh, to, you know, really, I love both Hollywood and Bollywood. They both, you know, speak to me in very different ways. They, uh, they have very distinct styles of content and entertainment and the way they do things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I love the big blockbuster Hollywood movies <laughs> and I love to be in them. Um, I, I worked on Mission Impossible 4 recently, which was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I also love the really nice uh, small comedy, you know, the, the indies, you know, indie comedies, indie dramas in Hollywood. Uh, but also with, with Bollywood, I'm seeing a whole new wave of filmmaking coming out of there, uh, both with Hindi films and also with Tamil films. You know, these are the two, I think, prominent industries in terms of like the quality of filmmaking that's coming out of there. And uh, I'm very heartened by that. So I actually am uh, in discussion on a couple of projects uh, in Bombay and in Chennai. Mm -hmm. And so um, hopefully, you know, later in the year, uh, we'll, uh, cool. we'll see me on Bollywood screens. All right, that's <laughs> cool. So, for, so you really think that when you think of Bollywood or the word Bollywood, you do feel that there has been a progression in the content. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Definitely. You know, before it was like all the fights and a lot of stuff was unreasonable. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, you know, yeah. um, if you if you look back, you know, I still love uh, Amitabh Ji's films. Oh, yeah. I still I mean, love... I mean, who cannot love yeah. him? I mean, even now, even some of the stuff, it's not unreasonable. You just devour them. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, I think, you know, there's been specific, you know, uh, phases in terms of the types of content that's being handled. Uh, it used to be a lot of, you know, family stories, mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, uh, mm -hmm. specific things in, in Hindi films. It's actually changing and it's evolved into uh, 
um, you know, I, I think I think most of our Western audience know Bollywood as just musicals and exactly. that and, kind and of and thing. The right? kind of was, that was kind of my next question in the sense right. that so because, you know, our Bollywood movies are infiltrated with music and the right. dance sequence and they come just at the most wrong time. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah. of them, yes, you know, it does make sense. Uh, sure. But some of them are just like out there. So when you when you are like signing up for a Bollywood movie, I mean, sure. And what would your preference be like? You want it to be like a masala kind of movie <laughs> or, you know. Um, yeah, you know, uh, there's there's two different things. You know, I, I love uh, the masala films, as you call them. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're wonderful entertainers. I think, you know, because you have to also look at it demographically. I think the larger masala Bollywood film is made for the, uh, for the you masses. know, for the, for the masses. Well, yeah, yeah. And so for them, it's their escape. It's their entertainment right. and kind of like their respite from a hard day's work or, mm-hmm. you know, working in the fields or whatever that is and uh, and you know so personally for me I love very intelligent stories mm-hmm. I uh, love the new wave of uh, you know filmmaking that's coming out of uh, you know Bombay you know I, I love uh, Amir Khanji's uh, films oh, yeah. I love you know Farhan Akhtarji's uh, films and you know those kinds of like very hat case stories that right. are mm-hmm. interesting to watch and very unusual you know, not not subjects that have been dealt with in the past and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in the Hindi film industry, and and I'm also very heartened by uh, a lot of um, you know the type of filmmaking that's coming out of the Tamil film industry in Chennai, um, and uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm really I'm very excited about the the films coming out of uh, uh, you know director Shankar sir's uh, production house uh, you know Mani sir's Mani Ratnam sir's films. And uh, uh, also, you know, uh, Prakash Raj sir's films, oh, you know, yeah, those course, are, yeah. I just love those, um, you know, kind of independent films that he makes. So I'm very, I'm very heartened by it. So <sighs> to answer your question, you know, I, I gravitate towards those kinds of intelligent, very hat case type of, you know, mm-hmm. uh, scripts and stories. So I would definitely love to work in those. And, you know, every mm-hmm. once in a while, it would be nice to put in some masala. So I don't oh, yeah, mind yeah, working in a masala yeah. film. Well, the thing is, to me, I, it's not like so much that I don't like the masala movies. Mm-hmm. To me, it just needs to make a little bit of sense sense as sure. to where the masala is being put <laughs> in, you know what I'm saying? Where the subsidies maybe I'm and where too, the masala yeah, is? Maybe I'm just too reasonable <laughs> with the movies or anything. I, I have something important I'd like to ask. Yes. Rajin, I'm serious when I say this. You know, <laughs> Chaz, I know you really love him. You don't have to admit it on live. I mean, he knows it. You know, if we moved the uh, and just for just so the viewers know, we're actually sitting across the table. <laughs> There's a lot of electronic equipment. Yes, yes we yes, tried. Guys, that is we sure, tried. That we, is sure to electrocute Chaz if he tries <laughs> to touch me. <laughs> we tried to get Alima to move, but she just she, she stuck herself between us here. Oh well, what can I say? You know, my husband said, you know, make sure Roger is safe away from Chaz. You know, so I thought, hey, you know, like a dutiful wife, I should follow my husband's instructions. Safe. And safe. that's quite a super yeah. cool Don't guy. <laughs> Don't get me started. Safe. Soup. Yes. Safety is my, well, it's not quite my middle name. But it's kind of like, <laughs> Did you say safety? <laughs> safety. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Um, I have a, I have what a was serious your question? question for you. Yes. Yeah. I'm wondering when you're, when you're, when you're being filmed, you're acting, you're, you're, you're reading your lines, you're doing what you're doing. And uh, has there ever been a time when you've got to do like a real serious role, and you, but you can't stop laughing and you bust out giggling or something? And, uh, <laughs> and also, has there ever been a time you had to be real happy about it, seeing me, uh, and yet deep inside you're really feeling sad and depressed for for whatever reason, as we as many people do from time to time? Yeah, you know, it's it's actually a constant process. You know, um, for me, acting is about exploring myself and my psyche in terms of you know what I'm what my thoughts are, what my opinions are. And that's that's kind of like on the artistic side, you know, for me as an actor, I really feel privileged because uh, what the work I do is sort of like a commentary on what the world looks at things as. And so if there's something I can offer that's different, that provides a better understanding of humanity or about the human spirit, I, I, I just feel very honored to be able to do that. So to answer your question, you know, I think there is, we were talking earlier before the show, uh, humor comes with a lot of seriousness and drama comes with a lot of, you know, lightness and humor. And uh, I think, you know, the, the the exceptional writers and directors know that and you always know that the most serious films have such a lightness about them sometimes and the most comedic films have some sort of, you know, seriousness about them. Uh, so, it, it, you know, it, it's like a mix and match of both of those. And uh, so when I'm working on specific things, like when I'm working on a comedy, uh, you know, 
after laughing so many times over whatever lines we're doing or whatever scene or shot we're doing, uh, it, it, it does sometimes uh, get a little serious where we have to remind ourselves that, hey, listen, this is a sitcom or a comedy. Uh, and, and the same thing with a drama. You know, it's not all serious. You know, uh, offline, right when the director, you know, calls cut, we're you know, possibly starting to giggle because we have to, like, cry for like the 21st time and you know we're we're just mm -hmm. giggling because it's it's become you know sort of in a way meaningless but then you know you got to reach deep within and go back and access that emotion again so did you did you i'm sorry i just had a quick question when he said crying <laughs> I mean, did you, did you, me your questions are never quick did you did hey i'm short and sweet okay <laughs> um when you did you have to do any um crying scenes uh, yes, so on the occasion of Valentine's Day, I'll say it is for true love. <laughs> 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 Just so I, you know, true maintain love. my macho and my true manhood love. intact. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a crier, ladies. He's a crier. Say it. Say it, man. Uh, so, yeah, I actually, uh, when I did uh, Miami Medical, which is a Jerry Bruckheimer show on mm -hmm. CBS, uh, we actually shot the pilot as Miami Trauma. It became Miami Medical afterwards, and I shot mm -hmm. both of them. Uh, and uh, in one of the scenes, I, I play a chef who's burnt, and I uh, it, was, it was just a w most wonderful experience because I got to work with an Oscar-winning special effects artist, right. mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was three hours of putting <coughs> prosthetic makeup on, an hour mm -hmm. taking it off every day for three weeks. Mm -hmm. So it was just a wonderful discipline in terms of getting into character. So the crying part, I know the ladies are all waiting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I just wanted to know, I, I'm sure, but yeah. is it like, does it come within you, or did you have to use glycerin, like, you know, a lot of people? Oh, no, 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 I think... I I I don't believe in that at all. I think it has to come organically, and mm -hmm. you know, um, I I really believe in being able to reproduce those moments, those poignant moments, those uh, emotional moments. Uh, you know, at a moment's notice. You know, every time the director calls action, I got to be ready to be able to right. break down. You know, the the just just to clarify, you know, it may not happen the same way every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So I have to find that truth within to be able to access it each time. And yet, not make it very, uh, you know, ha you know, very staid or very boring or stale. So, uh, so you know, I really like to access it again and again in different ways. And so, so in Miami Medical, I had a scene where I'm dying. My character is dying, rather, mm -hmm. and uh, my fiance is kind of webcammed in from another city. She's not. She doesn't have the time to see me before the mm -hmm. before my character dies. So we're actually talking on webcam at the hospital where I'm in the in the in the uh, emergency ICU, room right. in the ICU, and uh, so this is this very intense emotional scene between us. So um, that's that's just one example. Yeah, and fun. so it's for it. it no, the, the character was my fiance, so that's why I prefaced all of this by saying right. on the occasion of Valentine's Day is why I cried. <laughs> well, geez, geez, if you preface that on the occasion of Valentine's Day, how do you feel about lo doing love scenes? <laughs> well, so we have the genuine article here, then. You know, that's what makes great actors. Um, hey, Charles, we're just heading into our halftime, so why don't we take oh, a break? break? We have a special request from Roger Narayan for his better half in life, and we thought, well, you know, take a break by playing that song. So enjoy, folks, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> 